You are the one that said you liked eggs. I guess the title of this video should be, Do You Still Like Eggs? Hello and welcome to another video. What are we doing today, Carly? Egg hacks. Egg hacks. Egg hacks. Yes, that's right. Today, we're gonna to be trying out and testing some of the weirdest egg hacks we could find on the internet. And of course, they all come from our good friends, Five Minute Crafts, who have historically blocked our live streams that feature them. So we'll see what they do on this channel. Yeah, our arch enemies, Five Minute Crafts. Enemies to enemies pipeline. Right, so Sophia has been pitching this idea for months now. So we're finally gonna to get to do it. I like eggs. She does like eggs. In the past, we've tried and sometimes failed to recreate hacks from Five Minute crafts, including beauty hacks and soap baking hacks, but their videos are such a wealth of content that we had to try it again. I really want to do folding hacks and cement hacks also. Right. But egg hacks are up first. So we've got dozens of eggs here today, and we're gonna fry, boil, scramble, and otherwise crack our way into these eggs to take on these hacks. Say crack again. And who knows, if this goes well, there might be even more egg hacks in our future. Why won't you say crack? I don't know. <laughs> say crack again. Crack. <laughs> There actually were a lot to choose from, but we're gonna start with these four today. All right, on to hack number one. <laughs> so the first hack we have up is called the funnel cake egg hack. It's not really called that. No, we're calling it's just it that. what yeah, what we're calling it. That's our nomenclature. So Basically with this hack, you take three eggs, you put them into a mixing bowl, you take a hand mixer, you mix it up, you get bubbles, you put canola oil into a pan, you strain those eggs, it basically makes a funnel cake looking egg souffle entity. So it's essentially a hack to get really fluffy scrambled eggs really fast. You end up with a thing that looks like this. So for this one, we're gonna put three eggs into our mixing bowl, and then we're gonna come in with our hand mixer and get it all like bubbly and frothy. Does this turn on? Is there, is there an eject button? I think this button there might be- Oh, eject. that's what it is! Okay, push the other one in first. The other okay, one. that's not intuitive. Don't you think that the trigger should be start? <laughs> not shoot it out like a Nerf gun? Here we go. Recovering, recovering. So I'm doing this until it is frothed. I like this stage of egg where it's like fully scrambled. Mango Lussy vibes. Once that's ready to go, we're gonna bring in our skillet, put it onto our hot plate, and put in canola oil, which we're gonna heat up at medium high. We're gonna then take our frothy scrambled eggs and then pour it through this strainer, which will then hopefully create this like weird, like almost like those shrimp chips. The golden shower. Golden, okay, golden shower, yeah. You, you proud of yourself? No. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Yes. Right through the middle, Carly? Yep. All right, let's do this. It's not rising. That doesn't look right. We just created a swimming pool for our eggs. Uh-oh. The oil wasn't hot enough, was it? Okay. I'm gonna say we didn't do that right. No, I think that's worth a redo. So no. the first round of this egg hack was a fail. Yes. So we're gonna roll it back again. Yes. This time we're gonna go with a little bit less canola oil so that when we put the egg on, it like immediately shrimp chips. Less oil will heat it for longer. Exactly. We need it to be hotter. I'm just thinking about my uh, meat by the foot and how we can make that happen the Franken Slim Jim. Because I feel like one of the, the difficulties with the Franken Slim Jim is actually gonna be, how do you get it back into a casing? But maybe you don't. You know what I'm saying? You make them like really condensed. Are you talking about creating a crop circle made of Franken Slim Jim meat? Sure. Probably <laughs> prototype that immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so after what seems like an eternity of waiting for this canola oil to get hot enough for us to do this, I think we're ready to re-pour. Oh! Is it frying? No. What do you think? It's kind of horrifying. Horrifying. The splatter? Oh no. All right, so that's not it either. Let's try it again. All right, and pour. Okay, that looks about the same. So once again, we just have super oily eggs. They're just so drenched. I know, they're gross. I think we need to try something different here. Okay, so we are going to upgrade to the stove behind us and not just the hot plate. We're thinking that maybe the hot plate can't get quite hot enough. Right, we also went with a very small amount of canola oil so that we don't have any sinkage because the sinkage seems to undermine the sizzle. I agree. Let's do it. Ready? Yep. And will it shrimp chip? Oh, yes it did. I feel like that looks good. Like there, see, yeah. It almost kind of smells like shrimp chip. It smells like shrimp. Yeah, it does not smell good. Um, but I think that actually is it though. And it is less oily, I believe. 
better. That is our hack. And we have some fluffy, nasty looking eggs. Interesting. Unfortunately, part of this video is that we have to eat them. You take a fork and then I'll take a fork. There is kind of a funnel cake dynamic to it. What does it taste like? It's a very airy egg. Airy, oh, yeah. that's good. That's a good adjective. Sorry, maybe it was a too positive of an adjective. It's, a, it's, it's airy, soggy with a smack of canola oil. Okay, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Engage accepting palate. I do taste a lot of canola, but there's that part of my brain that's like fried thing, good. Egg, good. It's kind of like canola with extra parts. Unfortunately, I like it. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm less gung-ho about it, but I do think that even though it took more than one try, which is par for the course when it comes to five minute hacks, I do think that we can get to the point where we can say, egg hack one, a check. Yes, I do think we did it. Yes. So we're on to egg hack number two, which is the tiny omelets egg hack. Yes. So basically with this one, you take one egg or two eggs, you scramble them, so you have some egg base. Then basically what you do is you take a ladle that you're gonna then oil up, but we're gonna pam it up. Take a spoonful or two of egg and put it into your ladle and then put it directly over the burner. Kind of like work it around, cook it, add your innards of an omelet, fold it over, and then look, you have almost like a little taco. Yeah, that it's is like an omelet. mini omelet taco dumplings. And I think the idea behind this is that it's just supposed to be cute. Now, the one thing that we don't have is a fire burner, but we do have our hot plate. So it's not gonna be the exact same aesthetic as Five Minute Crafts, but we're gonna swing it. I also have a blowtorch. It is true. In case we need it. I feel like at a macro level, it is egg hacks one, us zero. The first hack was quite challenging. So let's see if we can even score it one to one. Yeah. It has to be purely adversarial when it comes to Five Minute Crafts. Absolutely. Will they ruin your life? Yes. My life's not ruined yet. Oh, is, okay. your, is, yours, is your ruined yet? I was, gonna, I was gonna say yes. Carly, is your life ruined yet? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have Pam, we have a ladle, and we have this bad boy. Okay, so you're gonna heat that up for a minute. So like roll it around to heat, eat. Yeah, like the, uh, yeah. Do you want to be the designated roller? I really don't. Okay, then let me just... <laughs> you be the designated roller. The thing is, you don't have Hold to on. roll it in the I'm, I'm giving you, you're out, you're out right here. Just take this, get out of here. I can't stop. Do you don't have to do this? No, the way Tyler's doing it makes way more sense. You were like stirring a cauldron. <laughs> like... Ready, Ty? Okay. What, wait, what am I doing? You're gonna take two spoonfuls of that egg. Okay, yeah. On. Are you ready? Yes. It's happening. There's one. It's one. There's two. Oh, we have to cook this now. They did use a flame. You know. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Did someone say flame? Get back here. <laughs> I think it might kind of be cooking. Okay, all right, okay. I'm just saying if you need me to do it, I'll do it. Does anyone see this? Is it sticking to the sides? It looks like it is. I feel like if you do more of that, it's gonna be good. <laughs> oh, the whole thing's moving. <laughs> whole thing is moving. Top down, can you see it? <laughs> Top down, can you see it? Oh, the whole thing's moving? Yeah. That's good. That's really good. That's actually really good. Now that's good. See, looks off. Yeah, I do see what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did I let you into this set? I will say this seems like a lot of trouble to go through. Oh, this is excruciating. But I think it's time for the innards. All right, so what, I, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the tomatoes and the onions and the green peppers, and you're gonna put them in as like sort of the fillings. Okay. Not too many, not too much, right? And then we're gonna take our Rosanna Pancino frosting spreader, and we're gonna then gonna fold it over in here. Fold it? Yeah. What the heck? That's it. What? That's it, that's right, that's it. You're doing great, you're doing great. What? Not what I do. <laughs> and that will be a egg taco. All right, ready? Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. Oh, maybe. Tiny omelet. Awesome. I think it looks awesome. <laughs> it looks like a baby quesadilla, I will say. It's so cute. Oh, it's really thin. But maybe that's part of it, the like delicacy of it. All right, bring it on. Ready? I mean, it's egg. Then that was a key point. Well cooked egg, I want to say myself. Now I've had like eight to nine more bites of that, it might be better, but I only had <laughs> one. I think that um, it was a lot of work for one bite of egg. <laughs> but. It wasn't a bad bite of egg. One of the worst utilizations of time and energy ever. If you define hack as thing that makes your life easier. It might be a zero. It's a zero. <laughs> <laughs> but if you define hack as cute thing that's desirable, maybe it's like a six or a seven. Exactly. All right, so with hack number two unchecked, it's time for us to move on to hack number three, which is the hard boiled egg floss hack. 
All those words in one sentence. Okay, so basically you take your floss, you tie it onto your toothpick, you take the toothpick, you spear the egg, and then you use the floss as a mechanism to carve a design, in this case, a zigzag, into your hard boiled egg. You pull out your toothpick and voila, you have something that looks kind of like a flower to put onto your garden salad, chef salad. It's just beautiful. Calm salad. It looks incredible there. It's just really beautiful. It's not deviling an egg, but it is adjacent to deviling an egg. You know, it, it's making the egg cute, for display purposes. Transforming the egg, because also a deviled egg tastes delicious. Let's go to the hack. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the original glide floss. They good? I don't know. Okay. Oh, shit. Why is this? This all falling apart so fast. Ready? <laughs> Why are you impaling your own self? I'm just trying to use my stomach as a board. Okay, ready? Get it in there. Okay. I think that it's it. I'm gonna take this long end of my floss and I'm gonna carve. See Can see anyone see anything? Actually, um, the top down looks okay if you wanna get a little lower. I think it came off. <laughs> Can so... I try? Can we swap rolls? You, you, you take on this thing. I'm gonna go with tea tree. Okay. Here's this one. That's it, that's it. Oh, you got it. You got it. All right, so now. That ain't going anywhere. There's a knot. Should I unimpale him and try him again? Yes. Impale away, lady. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, all right. So now I'm gonna take my floss and go uh, zigzag, right? Mm hmm. Oh. Eh? Oh, oh. I'm kind of ripping the egg in the process. You are. But at the same time, it's not not working. Oh, eh? Oh. Okay, right. did I get it? And that looks pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> that looks awesome. That mine did not look like that. <laughs> look at their little flowers. Look at them. The aesthetics are good. So I think this is a good hack if you have magical hands like Sophia. This one in particular really has some artistry. Doing something for you? Yeah, it really is. Turning you on? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could like pierce them from the bottom with toothpicks. They're like little flat, like lollipops. Cake pops, but it's eggs. Oh my God, new concept. Call it shish kab egg. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And it looks great. <laughs> it's a hard boiled egg from a bag. <laughs> it's fine. It's the finest hard boiled egg a gas station can make. <laughs> So I guess that's hack number three. Yes. I don't know what I call it, the toothpick egg hack? Toothpick egg floss hack. Yeah. A check. That was fine, I liked it. I feel like we have a lot of momentum right now. All right, should we just keep so going? So we should really get to the finish line, yes. AKA the fourth hack. The egg cake. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is, okay, let's do it. So taking a look at this thing, basically you take an egg, you do the egg white thing. I think we're gonna do four eggs. Then you take a hand mixer and blend it like crazy to make it really, really frothy. Yeah. Then you take the egg yellows or the yolks and you put them into a pan or a skillet. You take your fluffy white egg, lay it on top, put it in and basically steam it with the top on. And then it presents this sort of two-toned egg souffle, which you'll then slice in half, flip over and voila, you have sort of like a, I don't know, like a, Egg cake. This one looks very impressive. Yeah. The like actual desirability, I feel like for this one is kind of medium to low. Confusing at best. And the ease I feel like is also medium to low. Right, which makes me feel like they assume no one will ever try it. The dynamic here that Five Minute Crafts is going for is the war of attrition. That we are mentally the last two brain cells, but they did not account for the third brain cell. Silver Carl. Exactly. Carly said four eggs is how we should start with this. Let's go for four eggs. Let's do it. We're gonna do the egg white thing. We're gonna pass back and forth the yolk. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm putting it closer in case you want to just, oh, you got this. I've actually never done this. I've seen this happen. Oh, I'm gonna stand back. <laughs> I'm getting stressed out. Oh. Ooh. Can I help you? No. <laughs> then we'll take our hand mixer and we're gonna blend it like crazy so it gets really frothy and really tall. I'm gonna go all the way up to seven to really get some aeration in there. Oh, it's getting frothy. This is all about forearm endurance here. With those ready. Ooh, it's sustaining peaks. We're gonna quickly whisk up the egg yellows, put them into that pan and let them cook a little bit so they can act like a base for our egg whites. I don't know if you guys can sense the tension in the room, but I, it's palpable. The sexual tension? No. <laughs> There's then what kind of tension are you talking to about? To the tension with us and our mortal enemy, Five Minute Crafts. Enemies to lovers, arc, 
narrative pipeline, whatever, whatever you call it. Oh, it's kind of, it's starting to, it's starting to seem a little more tacky. So I think it might just be time for us to come in with our frothed egg whites. <laughs> Not that sound, anything but that sound. It's like foam. Yeah, it's foamy. Let me try to get this guy more evenly layered. Yeah, sort of like a cake. Mary Berry wants you to make a demented egg cake. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We think it's ready for us to take our egg cake out of this pan and see what it looks like. All right, we're gonna slide it out. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. I think that's what we were going for. I think so too. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> It's unbelievably foamy. Um, cut it in half. Okay. And then flop it over onto itself. Let's do it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what? 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 Oh! I feel like that's pretty successful looking. There is a bit of a depression like right there. Yes. But it is generally right, I think. Oh. Is that doing anything for anybody? How much would you like, Sophia? I Are you gonna we, cut me a slice? Yeah. Oh my God, it's, it's impossible to cut. Can you help? <laughs> no! It's nice and fluffy though. All right, let me take a bite. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so foamy. I can hear it. <laughs> It's got kind Actually, of like, I could too. It's got like a Crawl slightly, Palmer. it's like you're eating the bubbles in the bathtub and then you have like a very overcooked egg at the bottom. There's no redeeming elements to it. There is something soapy about it. Right. I don't really know why. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't hate it. <laughs> I can admit that it is not good. Right. But I have found the egg in there and it tastes good to me. I don't like it. But in terms of our battle, with five minute crafts, I'm gonna take it as a W. Even though it was a little deflated, I think we successfully made an egg cake. So with hack number four wrapped up, we learned a lot here today. We did. The, the beast, the monster, the white whale of egg hacks by five minute crafts can be tamed, can be captured, can be defeated. Um, so I really thought you were talking about me. No. The beast within. No. Cannot be contained, must have eggs. In terms of what we did today, Sophia, you wanna take it away? I think that we hacked some eggs, we cracked some eggs, we scrambled some eggs, we ate some eggs. I, I think that we achieved our goal. Were any of them desirable? Would you want to do any of them? Maybe the floss one? Maybe the floss one, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the mini omelet if you want to do it like one time. Just to see if you could do it, like a feat of strength. But overall, I, I, I had a good time. Yeah. And I, I feel nourished via the proteins from these eggs. Say crack again. Crack. There you go. So if you like that video, you can smash or gently tap the like button. Or crack it. There you go. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Or hack it. There you go. Here is our social media stuff. Or smack it. That right? doesn't make sense there. No, but here is also our merch if you wanna buy some merch. Or, or. Snag it. And with that, we'll see you guys next time.